You see here the uh, ellipse that we worked on in class. And uh, the situation uh, that we're presented with is that we um, plotted several points uh, after we found out that E was one third so that we discovered it was an ellipse. And we connected those dots uh, as best we could to, to generate a fairly circular uh, or fairly elliptical looking shape. And that should have some symmetry uh, uh, about both the horizontal and vertical axes. And what we need to um, consider here is is um, how, if we needed to find the extent along the horizontal axis, how we would do so. I remember from before that the eccentricity E can be computed as the ratio of C over A, where C is the distance from the center of the ellipse to the focal point. So that would be this short little distance here. And A is the distance from the center of the ellipse all the way down to the end of the major axis. Uh, recall that the major axis uh, length is uh, 2 times a. Well, let's find a first then, given uh, that we have a range on the vertical scale going from negative 3 halves up to 3. We can do 3 minus negative 3 halves to get, <clears throat> um, well, that's uh, 6 halves plus 3 halves makes nine halves, or about four and a half units, that's two times a. So that, that tells me that a is nine fourths for this ellipse. We were also given e was one third. So we see now that the value of c can be solved by uh, solving this equation. We have one third equals c divided by a, which is nine fourths. Multiplying both sides by nine fourths gives us nine fourths times one third equals c, and therefore by doing a little bit of simplifying, we see that c is three fourths. So now we have a, and we have c, and in order to find the horizontal extent, we, that's that's the value of b. Right? B is the distance from the center out to either end uh, of the minor axis. That'll be b units either way. So to find b, we can use the fact that for ellipses, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. And if c is 3 fourths, then c squared is 9 sixteenths. Uh, a we found to be 9 fourths, and we square that, we get 81 sixteenths. And we need to subtract b squared from that. Looks as though um, if we subtract uh, the 81 sixteenths from both sides, that gives us a negative 72, 72 sixteenths for the opposite of b squared. And so that b would be the square root of 72 over 16. Or simplifying, that's root 72 divided by 4. This value, root 72 over 4, is about 2.1. And so this... Uh, this ellipse opens up a total distance of 2.1 units to the right and to the left of its center. And we could identify those vertices as well if we had to now. Um, the distance from this focus to this center is the value of c. And so we knew that c was 3 fourths. And so the x-coordinate of this point is... Uh, oh, whoops. The x-coordinate uh, yeah, of this point is found from the value of b. That was this root 72 divided by 4. The y-coordinate is the one that I was about to comment on, and that's found according to the value of c of 3 fourths, so we have to go up 3 fourths of a unit to get there. So root 72 of 4 comma 3 fourths is the coordinate of, of this particular vertex along the minor axis for the ellipse.